All right, so we're gonna talk about how I personally try to remove that pesky 10 pin, whether it be a wrap 10 or a flat 10, there's a couple of reasons why you leave them. Generally, it's either the ball's going too long or the ball's going too short. It's actually hooking a little bit too early for you. You gotta find that sweet spot and get it going at the right angle. Now, in this instance here, it actually went a little bit too long and that's why you see it wrap around. When the ball goes too long, it actually wraps the six pin right around the 10. If the ball goes too short, if it hooks too early, the ball stops and it deflects a little bit and it makes the six pin sit on the, full, on the flat gutter and to the right of the 10 pin. You know, so we have to try and get the ball to do one thing or the other. For me, now I'm gonna make a move off of this 10 pin. I'm actually going to move my feet uh, a little bit to the right to just tighten my angle up a little bit and get it to roll just a little bit sooner because I'm moving into the dry now. I'm gonna keep the same hand position. I'm just gonna move my feet one board to the right and we'll see what happens. After I get rid of it, ha ha. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the same thing. should do it. So yeah, now you watch that one actually pick up and watch it just drive through the pens. So it goes at the right spot. If that goes six or eight inches further down lane, it's gonna wrap 10 again because now it's coming behind the head pen. So let me see if I can show you if I can bucket. I'm gonna try and leave a bucket for you or something, two pin or something of that nature. Just like that. So we bucket just like that. And you try to think to yourself like, okay, what am I gonna do there? I actually like when I see a bucket or when I see something like that, because that means I found enough oil in the middle of the lane or in the front part of the lane to where my ball's scooting that way. So now I can either do one of two things. I can get stronger with my hand to make the ball hook a little sooner, or I can just move my eyes a little bit further left, play the oil, let it be my shim or my hold, and then I'll have the extra hook to the right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'm actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my hand around it a pinch, and I'm gonna move my eyes one to the left and see what happens after I get rid of this, of course. Uh-oh, does it got it? Is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? Yes, yeah, spare. All right, so here we go. So I'm actually, now these are moves that I make on a house shot, remember. Not necessarily on something tougher. I'm gonna move my eyes a little to the left and get my hand around it just a pinch. Just to get it to pick up just right, just like that. So I can then get the ball to drive through, see it a little bit sooner. Because what happened on the bucket is it got to the right and it just kind of stopped. It went forward. It didn't hook early enough to get it to come back around to the pocket. It waited a little bit too long and then it just kind of stopped. Now by me moving my feet to the left into the oil a little bit more and getting my hand around it, I can then get the ball to react off of the dry just a little bit better.